All right, today, ladies and gents, we're going to be talking about things you may or may not know about text on a curve. Um, this is an example uh, that I recently did as a, as a birthday card for someone. Um, just uh, very simplistic. You can see that the happy curves and the birthday curves as well. Um, and then just a big 40 in the middle for, for the person's 40th birthday. Um, text on a curve is uh, fairly simplistic, and I'm just going to go ahead and dig right into it. Uh, how you want to do this right now, I, I went ahead and created a, a circle, right? This is a shape on, uh, on the layer mouse off. Um, and if I want to create text on a curve, then what I need to do is I need to convert it to an editable shape first. Um, I have this handy button, but you can also go through the arrange menu to do the same thing. I'm going to click the button and now it is, uh, it's still a shape, but it's an editable shape now. Uh, and uh, the next thing I'm going to do is take my selector tool, or not my selector tool, I'm sorry, my uh, shape editor tool, and I'm going to go ahead and drag select these two points, the center points on my, on my circle. Um, and then what I want to do is I'm going to break at points. Now what I've done there is I've created two separate lines now. Um, uh, there's this upper line here and the lower line here. Basically it was broken here and here. And just to show you that that's exactly what's happened, I'm going to go ahead and select the upper uh, line and hold down the shift key and press the up arrow a few times to see that they separate from each other. Okay. So I'm going to bring that back down. Now um, I have uh, the next thing that I need to do is select the text and the line and then go to arrange fit text to curve. And looky there, that does exactly what I want to do, right? Uh, and it's centered on the, uh, the, the line perfectly. Uh, that's great. Uh, now I want to show you what happens when I do this for the bottom shape. So I've done the exact same thing. I've selected the text and I've selected this line. And I'm going to go to the Arrange menu and uh, fit text to curve. And oops, that doesn't look how I want, want it to, right? Um, so the, the thing to do here is I'm going to press the F4 key, which will select just the line. Okay, now the only thing that I have one line inside on uh, layer mouse off, so this is a group. There's the text and the line. Uh, this is just the line now inside of the group. And then if I go to, uh, with, with my, um, my uh, shape editor tool still selected, I can go to this reverse path uh, um, button right here at the top. And if I click it, it appears where I want it to appear. Um, and that's pretty much the way I want this to look. Um, there are a few things that uh, you might want to do. If you'll notice, uh, this looks a little bit spread out. Look at the difference between the T and the H, how much space is there. And look at how little space is between the T and the H here. Uh, you can fix that by selecting the text with your text tool. And then uh, going out here and, um, let's see, and, and editing the tracking, uh, adding tracking to it. And if you just click on this uh, little right arrow key, you can uh, get it to where you want it to be and have a look. And that's still not the same amount, but it's, uh, it looks quite a bit better now than, uh, than it did before. Uh, you can edit that as much as you want. You can add more, take some away. Uh, but it's the tracking that you want to uh, um, you want to play with to get where you want. Um, the other thing you could do uh, is you can also change your position, the position of the text. Um, let's see, is this the baseline shift? So if I hold down the bottom, that's going to create baseline shift. Now that may also affect your your tracking. Right, uh, you may want to do less tracking if you're if you're going to do some of the baseline shift, but you just play with it until you get it to, to look exactly like you want it to. Okay, um, so this is all text outside of the circle. Yeah, that looks about how I want it to. Again, 
if I want that circle to go away. I don't want the line there. I just want the text. Again, I'm going to just select the piece that I want, press the F4 key, which gives me just the line, and then I can change the line to none. The line width to none. Do that again, just to show you again here. F4 selects just the line, change the line width to none, and it goes away. But my text is still on a curve. And the line is still there, it just has no width. Okay? So that is how you can create text on a curve. Um, all right, so that being said, I'm going to show you a couple of little things you may not have known about this. Um, one of them is that you don't need a curve at all. You just need a line, right? Even though it says fit text to curve, um, I've selected just this straight line and this, uh, um, this text here. And if I go to arrange, um, fit text to curve. There you go. It fits it right to that line. It doesn't have to be a curved line. It just has to be a line. Um, the other thing is here you can see on this text. So here I, I've got left justified text, center justified text, right justified text, and fully justified text. That justification on the text flows with the uh, um, with this fit text to curve. So when I do it, left justified is justified to the left, center justified to the center, right justified to the right. And fully justified is fully justified. Okay? Not necessarily maybe what you were expecting there, but that's the way it works. Okay? Um, the other thing that I, you, I wanted to show you is like just putting it on a line, it doesn't have to be one, one curve, right? You can have multiple curves, right? If I, more text to be displayed right here, if I fit that to a, uh, a curve, there you go. It will flow along with however the line is curved. Um, and then the last thing that I wanted you to, to show you is, um, highlight this and delete it. You don't have to use this arrange fit text to curve. Uh, what you can do is instead of doing that, you use your, your, uh, um, your text tool and come to, well, you have to have it selected first, sorry. Select the line and then choose your text tool. And then you can start anywhere you want on this, you can see how the cursor changes. Once you get on that line, you can place a cursor anywhere you want, but that is going to be the beginning, right? So if I press Control V for the text that I'd copy uh, to paste it, right? That is where that starts, okay? And it was left justified just like this text up above, uh, but that's where it starts because that's where I started my cursor. And you can do that anywhere you do it on any line. So that's, uh, that's it, um, or all, anyway, all that I had on uh, fitting text to a curve. Um, I hope you found that useful and interesting, and we'll come back again and see us next time.